Welcome to the second part of this video. We are on our way to the next destination. It's only now about 20 kilometers from here. It's already 6 a.m. and we could see the sunrise through the hills, so we stopped and decided to enjoy the view. Since we are early, we decided to have tea from a nearby shop, which had a gorgeous view. After spending some time there, we hurried to see the fog up above the hills and we were right on time. We enjoyed the fog and cold weather there for a while, it was so beautiful view to see the foggy clouds below us. Now it's almost 7.30, we were getting hungry. We decide to go back to the restaurant where we had tea. While they were preparing our food, we explored the restaurant and got freshened up from there. This restaurant is huge. The view from this restaurant is too good, so meanwhile we took some pictures from here. While we were clicking the pictures, we got our food served and we couldn't even wait for the curry. <laughs> Hmm. This is a The We enjoyed the tasty hot food in this chilling morning. We all got freshened up and got ourselves ready to continue our journey to the next destination which is approximately 130 kilometers from here. <laughs> This ride took too much time due to some road construction works, and we were so tired, so we took a break before reaching the Gap Road to Munar. While we were resting, Sajan went for a walk through this plantation. After resting for a while we continued the trip and stopped at a beautiful tea plantation near Munar. We entered into the tea plantation and enjoyed its beauty. From there we started the journey to Munar via Gap Road. Gap Road was actually closed at that time due to construction works on the other end, but we took that route itself to enjoy the nature and traveled as far as possible. We didn't want it to go back so we asked some tea plantation workers for an alternative route to reach Munar town. Luckily there was one such route. We were so tired, so we set up the tents and slept there for a while, near the plantation beside the road. After an hour some forest officials asked us to leave from there, as it's the daily route of elephants to drink water from the river down to slop and shown as the footprints.
We enjoyed the beautiful tea plantations and reached almost near the Munar town. Here we spent some time to see the beautiful sunset and resumed the journey to the town to explore the nightlife. The town is too busy at night and the roads were filled with street vendors and people. Fresh fruits and vegetables are available at the market and this place is filled with street food points. From the market we went to food points to have dinner and we were amazed by the dishes there. Every type of food lovers can enjoy the food depending on their own choices. We can also get different varieties of homemade chocolates. Street is filled with chocolate shops. The chocolate here is best in quality and cheap. We tasted some varieties of chocolates and bought some of them. After spending some more time in the streets, we went to our room at Munar Town where we will be staying tonight. We will sleep early because we have to be at Munar Top Station before sunrise tomorrow. Thanks for watching and see you on next part of this video. Don't forget to support and subscribe to our channel.